Dinamo, Dinamo, Dinamo. Guys, I'm actually still celebrating that win versus Anderlecht, man. A 2-0 win in the Europa League to go 2-2, two two, 6 points on top of Group D. Awesome stuff by Dinamo Zagreb, man. But what's up, Rich Squad? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Dominic Rich. And if you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button and click the little bell if you never want to miss another one of my videos. As you can tell from the title, I'll be doing my preview slash prediction of the round 10 fixtures in the Havatsky Telecom Perva Liga. And this weekend is the Rudish versus Dynamo Zagreb fixture. This is actually a Zagreb derby, so it should be a really feisty contest. But before I get into this week's predictions, let's do a recap of what happened in round 9. Hajduk Split and Dinamo Zagreb played to a nil-nil draw in the Vietnam derby. Then Inter Zaprasic lost 3 goals to nil versus Osijek. Goretzka also lost 3 goals to nil versus Lokomotiva. Reika and Slaven Belopor played to a nil-nil draw. And bottom place Rudish lost to 9th place Istra. After those round 9 fixtures, Dinamo are still on top of the table with 21 points, the only team still currently unbeaten in the league. Lokomotiva are 2nd on 19 points and are in very, very good form. In 3rd, we have Osijek on 17 points, also in very good form. And in 4th, we have Reika on 14 points, losing a bit of steam. Falling away a bit at 5th, we have the newly promoted Goritza on 13 points. And in 6th, we have Hajduk split with 11 points, a team seemingly on the up. Going through a bit of a rut, we have Slaven Belopo in 7th on 9 points. And in 8th, we have Istra 1961 on 8 points, a team who seem like they have gotten a new lease on life. In 9th, we have the struggling Inter Zapricic on 7 points. And in 10th, we have Rudish who seems like they're glued to the bottom of the table in the relegation zone with two points still yet to win a single league game this season. Rudish versus Dynamo. Rudish are currently at the bottom of the league table and are yet to win a single game this season. With seven losses and two draws, Rudish has only scored six goals and conceded 19 in the process. In their previous league fixture, Rudish suffered a 3-0 loss to the ninth place Istra 1961. So who knows what will happen versus the first place team. Which brings us to Dynamo, who are the current defending champions and are currently on top of the league table with 21 points. They are the complete opposite of Rudish, seeing that they haven't lost any games so far in the league this season. Dynamo are coming off a nil-nil draw versus Hajduk split in the Vietnam derby and a very convincing 2-0 victory over Anderlecht in the Europa League. Rudish versus Dynamo. In this less popular Zagreb derby, two teams on the opposite ends of the table meet each other for the second time this season. They met in their opening match of the season in a game which ended in a 1-1 draw. Dynamo almost lost that game as well. They scored an own goal and required a 93rd minute goal to equalize. So it's not going to be easy for Dynamo playing Rudish in their stadium at all. In the four fixtures last season, Dynamo won two, Rudish won a one, and one match ended in a draw. Not bad at all. This means that Dynamo are yet to defeat Rudish at the... Krania Shevichevoy. I can't say this name. Krania, Krania, Krania Chevich Avoy. Krania Chevichevoy. This means that Dynamo are yet to defeat Rudish at the Krania Chevichevoy. Guys, this is really hard to say. Am I right or am I wrong? I think I'm wrong. I think I'm really, really freaking wrong. Is there a shorter name for this stadium? Let me know in the comment section down below. Dynamo currently has two loanies playing for Rudish and they acquired Mario Budimir from them last season. Oh, that's why Rudish haven't been scoring any goals. Now I see what's going on. You buy their best striker and you cripple the team. Hmm, but then again, it's Rudish's fault for not adequately replacing Mario Budimir, right? Am I right? Ivan Matic, the manager of Rudish, will be hoping to catch Dynamo sleeping and continue their good form versus the champions at home. Rudish badly needs a result in this game, but there is also hope because one of their two points gained this season was versus Dynamo. So who knows? Maybe they will go up to three points or even five for the shock win. Who knows? 
Who freaking knows? But I think in this game versus Dynamo, the whole team needs to come together and rally in order to avoid sinking deeper into the abyss called relegation. Seeing that Dynamo had a Europa League fixture versus Anderlecht, I expect Nenead Belitza to heavily rotate his team. I expect no fewer than eight changes from the lineup which played versus Anderlecht and I do expect to see Mario Budime up top versus his old team. With Dynamo's squad depth, I think they will approach this match versus Rudish with some degree of comfort. It's a difficult game to predict because, you know, the history between themselves and Rudish, you know, especially played at Rudish's stadium, it's kind of sketchy. So I am going to go for a draw, a 1-1 draw. Dynamo could also win this game. They could also lose this game. It's an obvious thing, but I'm going to go for a draw. I don't think Rudish is in the right state of mind to actually cause an upset right now. But I think they will play their hearts out and scrape out a draw. And the fact that Dynamo are going to rotate their squad heavily will be a contributing factor. Look at the match versus Inter Zaprasic. They almost lost. They almost lost the game. It ended in a 5-3 thriller. But, you know, Inter was up you know, a few times in that game. So I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Rudish, they are going to remain winless this season, while for Dynamo, they are still going to be unbeaten in the league. So guys, let me know your prediction for the Rudish versus Dynamo in the Zagreb derby. It's not a big derby, but it's still a derby. Both teams are from Zagreb. But don't go nowhere, not just yet. I have to give you my predictions for the other remaining fixtures. There's a fixture today between Inter Zaprasic and Lokomotiva. So I'm actually making the video before the match is played. The first fixture this season between these two teams ended in a 4-0 win for Lokomotiva. So in this match, I'm going to go for a 3-1 win for Lokomotiva against the struggling Inter Zaprasic. They're going to continue sinking deeper into the abyss. They're currently ninth. Lokomotiva. Guys, Lokomotiva with a win. I think they will pit Dynamo for the top spot if Dynamo draws their game versus Rudish because Dynamo will get one point, move up to 22 points, and Lokomotiva will also move up to 22 points. But I think they have been scoring a lot of goals, so they might have a better goal difference than Dynamo. I might be wrong, but I think I'm, I'm kind of spot on with that. But still, it will be great to see a title race between these two teams from Zagreb. And then we have the newly promoted Goritza versus fourth place Reika. Reika defeated them early on in the season, two goals to nil. But this time around, I'm going to go for a draw, a nil-nil draw. What do you guys think? Also, let me know your prediction down below. Then we have Slavin versus Istra. The match early on in the season ended in a 1-1 draw. And I'm going to go for another 1-1 draw. Slavin looks like they're a very gritty team. But Istra have been performing well as of late. And they have a new manager and all. So I don't think they will lose. So a 1-1 draw. I'm leaning towards an Istra win. But I'm going to play it safe with another draw. Guys, last week I didn't get any of my predictions right, so hopefully I get a few right this week. And for the last match, we have Hajduk split playing Osiek. Osiek smashed Hajduk four goals to one early on in the season, but Hajduk already changed their manager, so I don't think they're going to lose. I think this one is also going to end in a draw. I'm going to go for a 1-1 one -one draw. So that's my five predictions for the round 10 fixtures. I'm predicting four draws. I don't know why I played it so safe. Maybe it's because I didn't get any right last week. But let's see what happened. These matches are so hard to predict, guys. 10 teams and they can all beat each other on the date. Well, maybe... Not rudish because they haven't been winning any games. But the other nine teams could defeat each other on the day. So these matches are really, really hard to freaking predict. But guys, thank you very much for watching yet another Havatsky Telecom Perva Liga video from your boy Dominic Rich. And if you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up button. Let me know your thoughts, any suggestions in the comment section down below. And until next time, peace out. Rich Squad! Havatska, do no more.